Hey, today what I want to go over is MIT Integration B 2022. This is problem number 18. So let's get started with this. We have the integral of 1 over square root of x minus x squared dx. Okay, it's usually a problem we have um, two x terms within the radical. We like to have just one. So let's factor out. I think what I want to factor out is just a square root of x. So let's rewrite this with a square root of x over here. And then inside the radical, we'll just have one minus x. Then I think it's gonna help us to have this in the numerator. So let's just rewrite again. Let's write this as x to the minus one half in the numerator, and we'll have our one minus square root of x here in the denominator dx. Trouble here is we wanna use a u substitution. And if I make this my u, you'll see that's not gonna work because the derivative of that is just minus one. Um, so that's definitely not going to work. We want to get something with a half root. The other thing we want in our numerator, in our denominator here, is we usually want this to be squared. So what we can do is we can kind of invent that by just rewriting this like so. We can write it as square root of x squared. And I think that's going to work out much better. So then what we'll do is for our u substitution, let's make u equal to the square root of x. And then we'll take our derivative, and that's just going to be du equals a half x minus a half and there we generate the half power that we wanted dx <laughs> see i was going to forget that but no so just make the numerator nice i'm just going to tack in a half here but multiply by two so i'm not changing the integral and then let's rewrite this with our substitution now so we're going to have two the whole numerator is du so this is going to be du over the square root of one minus u squared this is actually a very common integral, so we're just going to use the formula for this, and it's going to be sine inverse of u plus c. And then to get our final solution, all we need to do is back substitute here. And we're going to end up with our final answer to sine inverse square root of x plus c. And we're done. So that's a pretty easy one, especially for the MIT integration b. That's it. Stopping it there. Thanks.